What's up guys? This is Seepstar27 and today I'm going to give you a review on the iPhone 5 slash 5S OtterBox case. Alright, so this is the um, iPhone 5 slash iPhone 5S OtterBox case. Um, as you can see, it has the same design as some of the old OtterBox cases that were like on the iPhone 4S or iPhone 4. As you can see, I have the black OtterBox case to match my black iPhone 5. Um, I chose this color because I thought it would be the only one that would match the color for, for the iPhone 5 for the case. I also wanted this case because if I dropped my phone, it would probably break. And this is one of the most um, indestructible cases that's out on the market right now. So now let's take a look at the iPhone OtterBox case itself. So on the top here, you have um, a rubber part for um, the, home, the power button to go on. And as you can see, it's really easy to click. You just have to be a little bit hard at sometimes. Then you have the home button, which is covered as well in case if it drops and this is connected to here where you can do it out there so it connects to your home button as well and some so you can have more protection as well then on the side here um we have um, our volume markers right here um, then this is where the um, um, vibrate um, switch goes um, it's in here give me a minute to get that out that's what that looks like from there it's like it's it opens and closes you have to use your thumb or finger to get it open then on the bottom here we have the headphone jack which is covered as well it's right it's supposed to be right here and then we have the lightning cable which is supposed to be right here but, but notice that it doesn't cover the speakers there's no um um, glass on it or anything like there is for the screen. The reason for that is I don't think um, the OtterBox company thought that they couldn't hear with something like that for it. Then on the back here we have um, two parts for the um, camera to go through, the sensor, the calling sensor, and your flash. Then we got a little sleep back in here. Then we have that polish Apple logo as well. That and they put a carve uh, cut in there where you can see the Apple logo as well. And the Apple logo is covered, so if you get smudges on the back while you're holding it, it does not get smudges. Then on this side you have nothing. Alright, so now I'm gonna show you how you um take it apart. So first of all, you need to grab the sides here, pull them out here. I'm only going to use one hand because I can't hardly reach it. Then what I do is I grab this part right here and I do it very carefully. You can get there. Then I go to this side and do it there. I carefully get the, um, the vibrating um, switch first. Then I get that part out. Then I carefully get it out there. Then it should slip like that. Then I turn it over and then I get um, the, f the home button part, and then there's the rubber part, let's set that to the side, then you carefully have to find these parts right here, and carefully take these out, and you don't want to smudge the screen, so you have to be really gentle. Okay, I got them both out, and this is what I usually do, I carefully grab the phone here, and I just yank that out like that, there it is right there, that's what the inside looks like it looks like and then there's the screen itself let's set that to the side then we can just carefully take the phone out and then there is the iPhone 5 out of the OtterBox case then this shows just exactly what it says here and then it says OtterBox here and there's nothing there but please note on the ba the black um, version that it um, does show fingerprints if your hands are sweaty, so 
you have to be really careful if you have if you're um, going to use this and you're going to use it all the time. And that's one reason for what the rubber part is for, which I'm I recommend you um, wear that on it for more protection. So now the phone is out and now it's used as just a regular regular iPhone. Um, so it's just the same as it usually is. And um, what the OtterBox protects is um, the sides, the top, the bottom, both sides, um, and especially the backing. You have to be careful about the 8 megapixel camera and the flash. The reason for that is if you're like on a sharp object and it's like pointy, it could still get into the case. So you would have to still be careful for your phone to be safe with the OtterBox on your phone. And while we're at it, um, take a look at the iPhone 5 um, itself, the backing. This is one of the things I liked for the iPhone 5. This was one of my, this is actually my very first phone that I ever had, which I've always wanted a phone from Apple, which I didn't have enough money to get one. But my first device was the iPod Touch, um, which is right over there. Um, I did a, a with the on a video stand plus charge sync um, stand. Uh, be sure to check that out on my YouTube channel. Um, but this just feels um, sleek. The backing feels cool, um, but um, for some reason it kind of feels cheaper. Maybe it's because the texture of it, though. I mean, I really like the texture of it. I mean, I'm not saying Apple's cheap or anything. I mean, it's not cheap. This actually looks pretty cool, and that's one of the reasons um, I wanted it. I mean, some of my family members already had the iPhone 5, like my uncle, and I just wanted to get one for myself. And now I'm going to show you how to put the iPhone 5 back in the OtterBox case. First what you need to do is um, take um, this part and slide it on here. And before um, you put your phone on the OtterBox case, I recommend you clean it before you put it on in here. Alright, so that's cleaned off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. I can't hardly see, so. Alright, so that's in. And now the next one. Uh, don't worry about that. The next one is the screen protector. Make sure the screen is um, cleaned off too. Because that's one of the most parts. Sometimes I f would forget to clean it. And sometimes the screen would not um, be clear. But I try my best to keep it clean. And make sure it's snapped in so it doesn't fall out. And last but not least, the rubber part. Um, I would recommend having the rubber part in, because I mean it doesn't feel good just holding it like this, because of these parts are right over on the side here, and the holes on the sides that you can't hardly reach them. So I put the, then you put this in. Make sure you um grab the the home button part first, and then put it in there. Very gentle. Make sure everything's snapped into place. Then you get the bottom part where the headphone jack is and the lightning cable and make sure it's all snapped into place and that um, is how um, you put your iPhone or whatever device like the iPhone 5, iPhone 4, S, iPhone 4 into the OtterBox case and also um, um, OtterBox has some iP iPod Touch 5th generation OtterBox cases but they're not like this they're a different design all right guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please be sure to click the like button down below and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next one bye and please note i make youtube videos every week on tuesdays for this channel and i also have um a sports channel that i um make um videos every month or whenever i can that's a sports so be sure to check those out and my daily vlog